Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, welcome, my name is Lily. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys more about Chunky Knit. I know that in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys how to do a Chunky Knit blanket, and I've decided to do a little bit of a series where I'll be showing you guys how to make a few more home decor pieces. For this video, I wanna show you guys how to make this awesome Chunky Knit throw pillow. I'll be showing you guys how to finish off the edges on this awesome knit that I showed you with my previous Chunky Knit blanket. So if you're learning how to knit this, which isn't really knitting, I use my fingers, but um, if you guys want to learn how to knit this super quick and easy, check out that video on my Chunky Knit blanket. I'll go ahead and add it in the description. And I hope you guys love this DIY. Don't forget to let me know what other home decor pieces you would make out of Chunky Knit. I'd love to know. That'd be interesting. Anyways. Um, I hope you guys love this DIY. Let me know what you think and let's get started. To make your pillow, you'll need to knit a rectangle shape. Before you get too far into your knitting, don't forget to make sure the width of your rectangle matches the width of your pillow. You can check by simply laying your fabric on top of your pillow. Once you have your width, keep knitting until your rectangle is long enough to wrap fully around your pillow and your ends touch. Then take your pillow and lay it on one end of your fabric and fold the other half of your fabric over. At this point, your pillow should be covered and both ends of your fabric should touch. To start sewing up your edges, you'll need to tie a long piece of yarn at one end of your pillow. Then take the yarn you attached and use it to sew up your edges as you would with regular needle and thread. Work your way around all three sides and once you're done, Finish off your pillow by tying the remaining yarn in a knot and feeding it back into your pillow to make it invisible. And that's it! Well, that's it for this part of the series. Stay tuned for my upcoming chunky knit wreath that I'll be doing, which you can use throughout all the season. It's very neutral and beautiful. I hope you guys love that as well. Um, if you guys like this DIY, give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you love my DIYs, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a DIY. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.